In this video, I'm going to run through a UCAT revision schedule that you can use. Now, I've written this revision schedule now, and this is similar to the revision schedule that I used when I was doing my UCAT. So, you can use it if you want. Hopefully, this revision schedule is good enough for you, and hopefully, you do well in your exam. Now, obviously, the UCAT is a very hard exam. Everyone talks about it. But if you put the time in and actually revise, then you will do well on it. It's not something that's impossible to learn. It's just hard to learn. But you will learn it, and you will get the hang of it, and you will do well in the exam. Now, I'll make a video which covers everything you need to know about the UCAT. I made one last year. I'm making another one again this year. Uh, so that'll be up on the channel soon but this you're doing well you're watching this revision schedule so you're in the right place so yeah hopefully the schedule helps you out i suggest between four to six weeks of revision i know some people do around seven weeks and the minimum is four weeks don't let it go below four weeks unless you're very very smart and you're a genius because you do need at least four weeks to revise and you will have to use a paid resource it'll be either medify or medentry i use medify when i was applying but i know a lot of people now use medentry so it's up to you which one you use. It'll come down to what you can afford and what you can prefer. I know some people use both. I would suggest using both if you can pay for it. I didn't use both when I was applying. But if you can pay for it, then I suggest using both Medify and Medentry. It'll give you access to more tests, more questions and different types of questions. Because when I was using Medify, I don't know what it was. It just went the year I was applying or whatever. I found the Medify questions easier. I was doing better in my Medify test than I was on my actual test. And I peaked around a week before my exam. I think I burnt out the week on my exam. I got around 2,800, 2,700 the week before the exam, the week of the exam, the day of the exam, I got 2,500. So just before I get into the revision schedule, I'm really close to 2,000 subscribers. So if you don't mind, just please press the subscribe button and get me there. I'm like 40 subscribers away. So I thought a subscription would be appreciated. I also post daily content about the UCAT on my TikTok at StudyPlay. You can go check it out if you don't already. So I have the revision schedule on screen right now. I'm going to read it off here as well so I can explain it to you. So Monday to Sunday. On Monday, you do one of the four or two of the four. So I'll put verbal reasoning, decision making and situational judgment. Two and a half hours. So one hour on verbal reasoning, one hour on decision making, 30 minutes SJT. The Tuesday, the other two. So abstract reasoning and quantitative reasoning, 60 minutes each again with 30 minutes situational judgment. Now, the Wednesday, after you've done uh, one hour of each, including one hour of situation judgment, you do a mock exam. Now, just keep this up every week. Um, the Thursday, it's a repeat. So again, uh, verbal reasoning, decision making, SJT. The next day, AR, QR, SJT. And um, coming on to the Saturday, what I want you to do on the Saturday is to do all four, but this time it's 30 minutes of each. So it comes out to a two hour day, 30 minutes VR, 30 minutes DM, 30 minutes QR, 30 minutes AR. Um, now on Sunday, initially when you're starting off, you can have this as a rest day. So let's say you revise in six weeks. The first three weeks, you can have the Sunday off. But when it comes close to the exam, I want you to do a mock exam on that day. So the Sunday, about three weeks before your exam, make it a mock exam day. So you'll be doing two mock exams a day and you'll be covering each section about three hours each week as well now if you want you can increase the hours here two and a half hours a day it really isn't much and if you are going for the a's and a stars or medical and dental school then you have to get used to revising this much every day anyway so yeah you can make it more but i think this is the like minimal amount that you should be doing and you can do well in my opinion with these hours you'll realize how the questions are going you'll see how it's going you can decide if you want to add more hours or not depending on how well your results are so the way that i would do it is for example, on the Monday, I've got one hour of VR, one hour of DM, and a 30 minute situation of judgment. In that one hour, initially, I want you to do 30 minutes of like revision online. So watch YouTube videos, see how to answer the questions, and then 30 minutes of questions. And then as you start learning how to answer the questions more, I want you to increase the time. So maybe 15 minutes revision and then 45 minutes questions. And then around three weeks before your exam, I want that to be a whole hour of questions because eventually you're not going to need to watch YouTube videos. You don't need to learn new tips or anything. You know your method, you know what method, what um, what techniques you're going to use and then just start applying them to questions. The more questions you do, the better you're going to get. And the more questions you get used to and the more you see, especially for abstract reasoning, it's really important to do as many questions as you can. Now, once you start off, your results are going to be very, very bad. It's fine. You're going to have 1,600, 1,700, 2,000. It's fine. These results are bad. But everyone starts off like that. The UCAT is a hard exam to get the hang of, but you will eventually get the hang of it. You want to consistently be getting above 2,500 once you've got the hang of things. And during your exam time, you want to be aiming for around 2,800, 2,700 or more. Those are the results that medical and dental schools are looking for. But don't worry, you're going to get better with time and practice. So follow this revision schedule, add more hours to it if you want. 
but yeah, hopefully this video was useful to you. Um, I have TikTok, I have Instagram, I have Snapchat, I don't really use it, but you can add me on there if you want, I might use it one day. But yeah, hopefully this video was useful to you, and ho hopefully the UCAT goes well for you, I know it's a hard exam. I will be making daily videos on my TikTok at StudyPlate and Instagram at StudyPlate, so go check them out if you want daily UCAT help. Yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe.